This is my lab report for lab four on oscillations. So an introduction to this lab, the goals were to observe the motion of a mass attached to an oscillating spring and to compare uh, this motion to the predicted motion using a computation model using GlowScript. I also wanted to observe the change in kinetic and potential energies of the mass as well as the spring and gravity system. And then from this, I found the predicted and observed motion graphs were very similar, as well as the change in total energy is zero. Uh, and instead, energy is transferred between potential and kinetic energies, which is consistent with the energy principle, which I will get into now. So key physics on this one, obviously, is the energy principle. Uh, the change in energy of the system can be defined as the work done on the system uh, plus the heat exchange with the system. Um, so for this experiment, however, I did choose the system uh, to be the mass, the spring, and the earth. So there's no work done on the mass in this, by the surroundings. So the change in energy is equal to zero. And this is a key concept we'll see later. We also deal with the following energies today. Uh, we have kinetic energy is one half m change in velocity squared, or, or and final velocity squared minus initial velocity squared. Gravitational potential energy is the mass of the object times g times the change in uh, distance in the y direction. The spring potential is 1 half k s squared, where s is the magnitude of the length of the spring at any given moment minus the relaxed length of the spring, and k is the spring constant. We also have Newton's second law, uh, like always, we have the net force is the change in momentum over time, uh, like we've done. We, we have the velocity update formula, uh, which we use to calculate, or which we use to update the velocity um, through the net force on the mass, and the position update, which predicts the position of the mass uh, due to average velocity. But for this, because it's a non-constant force acting on the mass, Vf is approximately equal to V final at each time step. So here we have the track, tracker analysis. This is the video of B doing the tracker. As you can see, the calibration stick in the blue is 0.7 meters, uh, which was provided uh, by the lab instructions. And the initial position of the, la of the mass, which I found using tracker, is negative 0.15, negative 0.650 meters. And the data used starts when the man drops the mass, even though there's a slight period on the graphs here where it's zero. That's just when the video is uh, the starting frame. So this is GlowScript, the model, the initial conditions and constants. We have the ball mass, spring constant, and relaxed length provided, which you see here, uh, here, and here. And then the initial position right here is obtained from the tracker, which I just said in the previous slide. And here's the gravitational constant. And then this is the forces and energy, energies in the glow script. Uh, we have the spring force equation set up here. So we define L, L hat, and S. And then we also have the kinetic energy, gravitational potential, spring potential, and total energy set up. For the calculation loop, I calculate each force acting on the mass. And then I use this is used later to update the position and velocity data. You see spring force, um, F net, gravity. Um, and then I use the previously defined formulas to calculate the change in energy for graphing. Uh, as you can see here, we are still setting up the uh, change or the spring length at each timestamp. And then these are all the changes in energies, change in kinetic, gravitational, spring potential, and total. These are the computational model results. As you can see, you choose the file. I chose the data from the tracker. And then this is the spring oscillating um, in real time. Uh, this, as you can see, this graph is the change in energy uh, versus time. This is the x position versus time and the y position versus time. And I'll get into these later. I just wanted to show how it ran. So this is that. So this is the tracker uh, change in position versus time versus the glow script. As you and same with y, the, these are very similar. And as you can see, this I'll talk about this graph later. But this is the uh, p spring potential, gravitational potential, and kinetic is in blue, and delta energy is zero constantly.
so what does it mean? Is the energy principle satisfied? Well, yes. The change in gravitational and spring potential energies are always opposites of each other. At any given time, the sum of all the energies is zero, as you can see by this orange line. So energy is conserved. And even at this point, you can see if you add up the gravitational potential here, spring here, and that gives you zero, as well as with the kinetic. And then what does it mean uh, in addition? Uh, I wanted to do two estimates of the oscillation periods based on the X and Y graphs uh, and tracker. And as you can see, I just find the period or the minimum and subtract them. So I get 1.6 seconds, 1.4 seconds. And the difference in the error in using tracker and not accounting for all forces like drag force, that's how it can be accounted for. Thank you.